flocking of continuous flat materials. The pre-coated or otherwise finished textile fabric is run off a large material storage frame and using sturdy coating equipment applied with adhesive. In order to achieve an especially soft touch, a pre-foamed adhesive can be used, which is automatically fed from the fling aggregate straight via tube and pipe into the coating equipment. The small box next to the adhesive coating unit is the control element of the SPS drive. All functions of the flocking unit can be preset from this point. Various settings, depending on the material to be flocked, can be called up from previously set parameters. The coating thickness is controlled both in the running direction as well as traverse by a measuring head. Above the flocking machine on an operating platform is the flock storage container or hopper with the pre-dosing system. Here the flock can be placed automatically or manually. It's important that this area is also climatized without violent or strong air movements. This is the view into the actual flocking machine which has five flock modules. On top we can see the flock level control from whence the pre-dosing system is controlled. The two white round discs allow the pressure of the brushes to be adjusted onto the sieve base. The electrostatic high tension is connected to the base of the sieve. The side conveyor screw removes the contaminations which some flock qualities produce. The side conveyor screw removes the contaminations which some flock qualities produce. A circular conveyor belt carries the textile material flow almost tension free while beta bars encourage the flocking process. An adjustable suction nozzle is placed over each beta bar and after every module. The exhaust air from the climatized flock cabin and from the pre-cleaning device is brought into cyclones where the removed flock is separated from the air. Such flock may be reused. The exhaust air from the cyclones is fed into large size tube filter and runs back into the climatization unit aggregate via fine filters where it's reconditioned and fed back again into the flocking cabin. After the flocking process, the surface weight is again measured in order to determine the weight of the flock deposit. The material is fed into a tension frame with needle chains on both sides and led through the first dryer. Nozzle airing on both sides ensure an efficient and even drying. This sensor measures the remaining humidity in the fabric. In a second dryer, the curing of the adhesive is carried out, and this cooling roller then cools the fabric down, after which the fabric is cleaned with the help of beta bars and suction exhausts, and finally rolled up onto a material accumulator frame. This accumulator frame allows the changing of master rolls whilst ensuring a continuous flow. Back to the beginning of the production line, where a master roll is ending. The accumulator frame is filled, which during this time allows the end of the roll to be sewn on to the beginning of the next master roll, ensuring continuous production. On this production line, Paper substrates and film substrates are being flocked. Here again we have the un station with surface weight control. A view of the adhesive application station, which in this case is surrounded by a cabin, as solvent-based adhesive is being used, and the fumes have to be removed through special systems. Immediately after this, the coated substrates run into the climatized flocking zone, in which there are four flocking units, followed by pre-cleaning suction nozzles. There follows the drying of the flocked material. At the outlet of the oven, the material is cooled over a large diameter cooling drum and with the help of vibration, brushing and suction exhaust, completely cleaned of excess flock.
a quality control position with very intensive lighting shows up the slightest differences in the surface of the flocked material. The cutting unit then slits the material lengthways using rotating cutting blades. And it's then rolled up in small diameter ready to use rolls with clean cut edges.